Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to enable virtualization so we can run virtual machines inside our system. Please note that this only applies for Windows and Linux operating systems, and it does not apply to Apple computers. Because all macOS computers that have an Intel CPU should have virtualization enabled by default from the factory. The steps I will be showing you will be the same steps across all Windows versions. So if you have Windows 10 or Windows 8, it will be the same. So first, let's make sure that virtualization is disabled. And I will open the task manager to do that. Now it's opened, I'll go to performance and select CPU. And as you can see, virtualization, it says disabled. So to enable this, we will need to access the BIOS settings. BIOS is a software installed on a chipset on the motherboard, which stands for Basic Input Output System. BIOS is designed to identify and configure the hardware in a computer, such as the hard drive, the optical drive, the CPU, the memory, and other components. We will need to enter the BIOS settings and enable virtualization from there. To do that, we will need to press a key on the keyboard while the computer is starting. Here is a list that shows which keys to press for each manufacturer. So we have the name, the device type, and the corresponding key to enter the BIOS settings. If you don't see your computer manufacturer in this list, you can always Google search the BIOS hotkey for it. Feel free to pause this video and look up yours. For example, if you have an ASUS and it's a laptop, you can press either delete or F2 to get you to the BIOS. Also, if you see multiple key options, this means that you will need to try each key one at a time. This happens because companies usually make changes when they release a new device. So if you have a Toshiba laptop, for example, start with F2. If it didn't work, restart the system and try F1. If that didn't work, restart again and try escape and keep trying these keys until you find the key that will redirect you to the BIOS settings. Now let's see how we can do that in practice. I have a Toshiba laptop running in here, and according to the list that we just saw, I should try F2, F1, Escape, and F12, and one of those keys should get me to the BIOS settings. For this laptop, I know that F2 will get me to the BIOS settings, so first, all we have to do is restart the computer, and as soon as the computer starts, we will keep clicking on that key that we got from the list. I will actually restart the computer manually, so I will first shut it down. I'm going to turn it back on. Once I click on the power button, I will directly click on the F2 repeatedly. And awesome, now I am inside the BIOS settings. This is how the BIOS page looks for me. Yours might look a bit different than the one I have. That also depends on the computer you are running. Even though they might look different, they will function the exact same way. And we can see the controls in the lower section of the screen. And we can use these controls to navigate through the BIOS settings. So now I am in the main page. If I click on the right arrow on the keyboard, I will move to different tabs as you can see. And the goal here is to look for virtualization setting. So in my case, it is under the advanced tab here. If I press the down arrow, I can scroll down through the list of options. And the option I want is called virtualization technology. And we can see that it is set to disabled. So if I hit enter, we will see a different option here called VTX only. For you, it might just say enabled and disabled. I will hit the down arrow to select VTX only and click enter to accept this option. Now we are done modifying this setting. So let's save the changes and exit the BIOS. I can either hit F10 on the keyboard and this will automatically save the changes and exits. Or I can scroll to the exit tab and select the exit saving changes option. I'm going to hit enter on that and I'm going to say yes. And this will restart the computer and boots into Windows as usual. And now we are back in Windows. Now let's double check the virtualization status from the task manager. So I will open task manager again. 
let's go to performance cpu and awesome as you can see we have virtualization enabled in here so now we are ready to install and run virtual machines on our computer